parents often ask, uh, are there any risk to not treating Moya Moya? Um, the problem with Moya Moya is that it, it presents in a very variable fashion. Uh, some children, when they are found to have Moya Moya, uh, have very slow or stuttering courses where they may have a stroke or may have a headache and then they're fine for weeks or months or years and nothing happens. Uh, other kids have very fulminant presentations where they will have a stroke and in the span of several weeks will have several strokes and progress rapidly to terrible things like coma or death. And it's very hard to predict which are the children that are going to have these more indolent courses and which are the children that are going to have these very rapid disease pre presentations. Um, as such, uh, what we usually recommend when people are found to have Moya Moya uh, is to try to treat it surgically relatively expeditiously. Uh, often uh, we try to uh, plan surgery in the span of anywhere from 6 to 12 weeks after diagnosis. Usually that allows us time to make sure the children are on appropriate aspirin therapy, make sure they're well hydrated, uh, and also uh, get the appropriate studies we need in surgical scheduling ahead of time. So these are the steps that we usually do in order to prepare the children for surgery and get them done in a timely fashion, obviously adjusting on a case-by-case -case basis uh, depending how rapidly or slowly kids are progressing. Um, if Moya Moya isn't treated, uh, unfortunately we know from multiple studies, not just from our institution but around the world, uh, that uh, nearly all children will progress to have severe cognitive, uh, se severe cognitive decline, uh, paralysis and even death. And so there's a real impetus to treat this surgically once the diagnosis has been made.